In this situation, you have a wizard flying to the right, and it has an acceleration. And then you have a string hanging down below it, and because it's moving due to this acceleration, uh, the mass, which is hanging at the end of the string, makes this angle theta with respect to the perpendicular. And so, what we want to figure out is this wizard's acceleration. going to be heading to the right. So, we do the same as in the previous examples. We sum up the forces in the x and the y direction and we make a free body diagram for this. So the free body diagram, we represent our center of mass and then we would have the tension coming up, tension in the rope, then we would have the force of gravity going down, force of gravity, which is mg, and then we would have our angle theta, and this angle will be equal to this angle here, so this angle is always equal to that angle as long as these two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so now we're going to look at just the forces in the x direction. So we're going to sum of the force in the x direction, which is equal to, well, we're going to have this component of the tension going over this way. So remember, so katoa, so opposite, so it's going to be sine, so it's going to be t, sine theta and then we don't have any other forces in the extraction uh, except we do have the acceleration in the extraction so because it is moving as it, and there is an acceleration it's going to be equal to ma and then doing a similar process we're going to take the sum of the forces in the y direction and well we have this component of tension in the y direction which is the adjacent, so we're going to use cosine so the hypotenuse times cosine theta and, and hopefully you remember it's just, I'm just using so ka so uh, there's a million videos on this, uh, I'll just leave you to do those. But uh, so we have this component right here, which is the hypotenuse times cosine of theta. And that's positive because it's going in the positive y direction. And then negative in the y direction, we have a negative of mg. So minus mg which is the force of gravity. And is it moving in the y direction? Well, no, it's not, because its acceleration is entirely on the x-axis. And so this is equal to zero. Now, we can uh, just do, because we have zero on the right side, we can add mg to both sides. So, making it positive. And then, well, we can set our tensions equal together because we have two equations and there's two unknowns so we can solve for both of those unknowns so we're going to set tensions equal to each other and so in this case tension is going to be mg we're going to divide both sides by the tension divide it by or sorry both sides by cosine theta cosine, hopefully you picked that up. Okay, and then on this side we need to get tension by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by sine theta. So T and T, it's the same tension, uh, it's the same hypotenuse, so we can just set them equal to each other now, so MA divided by sine theta equals mg divided by cosine theta 
then all we need to do now is get the acceleration. So multiply both sides by sine of theta and divide both sides by mass. So acceleration is going to be mg times sine of theta because we multiplied it to both sides and then divide it by this mass divided on both sides times cosine of theta well the masses cancel so that's equal to g sine theta over cosine theta and your trig identities so this is a big one so that's g tan theta and so we have uh, g which is just 9.8 meters per second squared it's just a constant the uh, gravitational acceleration of earth and we have tan theta so our angle uh, it didn't actually give you an angle but we'll say an angle of 44 degrees just arbitrarily picked so tan of 44 degrees and that's going to be equal to nine point five meters per second squared. So that means your acceleration is going to be nine point five meters per second squared for the wizard. And now doing uh, the same thing with this example. So this is just to show you that these examples uh, are just picked to demonstrate the physics behind it and the math behind it. So let's say you're actually sitting on a train in this example and your train was accelerating along the x-axis and you just had a pencil with a string tied around it and a mass on the end of that. And you were just sitting there, so you were holding it and there's a string dangling down with the mass and as the train accelerates, it starts to swing, making an angle, and you can measure that angle. So let's say it made a 20 degree angle as the train's accelerating. Then you can actually figure out the acceleration of the train by just using what we already just worked out. So acceleration is going to be g times tan theta, which is 9.8 meters per second squared times tan well say it made a 20 degree angle that'd be 20 degrees and so the acceleration of the train would be three point six meters per second squared and so that's a fun little example. You can use that next time you're sitting in a car or on the, uh, the bus or the train. Hopefully somewhere where it's steady and it's not rocking around too much and jostling your little experiment. All right, thank you and have an excellent day.